What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Weapon Bloom in Call of Duty Vanguard. I want to make a quick video about this. I know a lot of people in the community are starting to find out about this. I kind of wanted to put some more awareness out there about it. Now, True Game Data was the person that originally discovered this a few days back. So I'm going to put a link down to his uh, YouTube video in the description. So definitely check that out. I would highly recommend it. But for people in my community, people that may stumble across this video, I want to make sure that everyone in the community has the kind of awareness about it because it is something that I think needs to be toned way down or removed if all possible by Sledgehammer. Now in the past, if you had a red dot on your weapon, let's say you were going up against an enemy, if you had that red dot dead on their chest, you pulled the trigger and long as there was no human error and you started missing shots, you know, yourself, all of those bullets were gonna go exactly where your red dot was, you know, aimed at or what your red dot was aimed at. Now in Call of Duty Vanguard, the bloom actually gives you some RNG to this. So one or two of those bullets may vary off from where you're aiming. And a lot of people are in the community are really upset with this because if you're a person that has really honed your skill in playing a first person shooter and you, you know, have over the years made it so you don't really miss, you know, so you're always on target, you know, you're not just randomly missing shots. This is kind of punishing you in a way to where you know, if you're hitting a majority of all your shots all the time, there may be a time here and there where one or two of those bullets may vary off from where you're shooting. And then, of course, that gets you beat in a gunfight. And that is a bit unfair. I think the only way you should be getting beat in a gunfight is your own human error, not, you know, a random kind of based bullet generator. Pretty much is how this is working. And a lot of people in the community want this completely removed. I'm not sure if Sledgehammer can remove this. But if they can't remove it, I think the bloom needs to be turned way down because some of the weapons in the game, especially on the AR and the sub side, some of them don't have as much bloom and some have way too much bloom. Uh, some of them are really hard to connect all your bullets, even if your aim is really, really good. Now, there are a few things you can do to help with this, and that is adding attachments that help with accuracy. So if you have any attachments that help with accuracy, that will help with the bloom. If you have any attachments on that are hurting your accuracy, I would highly recommend taking those off until maybe Vanguard uh, or Sledgehammer can address the issue here in Call of Duty Vanguard. Because until then, if you're having uh, issues hitting players, make sure that you're not running things that are affecting your accuracy and put more things on your weapon that will help with accuracy. And another reason that I'm not a big fan of this being you know, in the game, it's going to change a lot of people's builds. They're going to have to run different stuff that they're not used to running because now they're going to have to put things on that have you know, more accuracy and maybe less you know, aim down sight speed, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, more recoil control. People want to be able to play the game and enjoy it and run what they want. And when you have something like this in game, that does not really allow that to happen. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.